Hey guys, what's up? Crash 18 here. And uh, in the background here, we have some Division 1 HUT gameplay. Um, I'm using a Montreal Canadiens team that I made. Uh, it's, it's not like exactly, it's not like every best card that they have and um, and like every, yeah, every best version of card they have. It's, it's more just of like a team I put together that I like using whenever I get bored of using my other team. So... That's what we have in the background here. Um, but the ti uh, topic of this video, as you can see in the title, is time on attack (TOA) um, and how I find it's it's pretty overrated. Because if you watch, not if you watch, but if like you get like the general sense throughout the community, like if you go on Twitch or something and just hop in any one stream, usually people think just because you have like say if you out time on attack the guy like ten to ten minutes to six minutes that you outplayed him, but honestly. My opinion is that time on attack is very overrated because most people just go in the zone, their opponent's zone, and start circling and looking for cross creases. So basically, you're just like, like half the time on the attack, like the ten minutes, only like about let's say like three or four minutes could actually have been like actually good time on attack where they actually got chances and all that sh stuff. Everything else, all the other like let's say six or five minutes. Is them just like circling, uh, circling around and cycling, but the the opponent is playing very well defense, taking away like the inside lanes, taking away the points, so they can't really do anything. Because most of the time, um, when it's when it's like when people say they have um, good time on attack, but if they only have like eight shots in ten minutes, that's pretty brutal, if you ask me. Like I don't know how you manage only only eight shots in ten minutes. You might. Like how was that? How was that effective? What you were doing? It, it wasn't. So, what I think is like good time on attack is not necessarily two shots per minute of time on attack, but it's like if it's like quality chances. Like if you get two quality or like not like quality, but like decent scoring chances in in a minute of time on attack, that that's good time on attack. But if you get only like eight shots in ten minutes of time on attack, how was that? I don't really understand how you you uh, outplayed the person versus a guy. Let's say he had like six minutes time on attack and and like eighteen shots though. Um, I would much rather have eighteen shots and six minutes time on attack than ten minutes and eight shots. Um, like they might think that they're controlling the game, but all in all, if if they're not really if they're not getting to the net, I don't really understand. They're not really controlling the game that much. They just they have the puck in your zone, not doing anything. It's more of just a boring approach uh, to the game. Because if you just go in the corner and cycle and just look for the cross crease or go to two money plays, but it's it's constantly defended, and you end up with 10 minutes time on attack, I don't really consider consider that um, dominating the game. A do um, if you like, I would cons if the other guy holds you to eight shots, I would consider he played really good defense, or you're just really you never like to shoot unless it's like a wide open net which is really stupid because you never know especially in this game put it on net and the goalie can make a stupid play um the um okay tip it could do all that stuff so um let me know what you think if you think time and attack is overrated or or not um and also if you'd like to see like uh, the team build i have going on for this uh, uh, Habs team, um, let me know. I might make a video about it. Alright, see you guys next time. Peace out.